Hi viewers and uh, dear students, I am here today to explain the Cambridge IGCSC ICT 2017 May June paper 3 1 spreadsheet part. So, in this part of the question paper, they said Tawara Web use a spreadsheet to record the hours work each week and calculate each employee's pay all currency values are in dollars with two decimal places so use the most efficient method to create this spreadsheet so first of all open and examine the file 1731 employee.csv in a suitable software package or you can see spreadsheet package so we normally use Excel as a spreadsheet package. So we'll go to our folder here on desktop and we'll open the file employee.csv. So now we need to examine the data into that file and then we need to save this file as a spreadsheet with the file name 1731 EMP and then your candidate number so it will look like this. So we'll just click on file and we'll save this one as browse and then we'll save with our candidate number as a workbook. Click on save. It is done. Now we need to examine it like for example we need to check if everything is accurately arranged here just like that yes hours worked pay job and okay now what we need to do is place your name center number candidate number center in the header of the page so we need to include the header so we'll go to the print option and then we'll go to the page setup and then we'll click on header custom header and then at the center we need to have our center number name and candidate number so name center number and then candidate number that is in the header and then after we need to click on ok we'll go to the footer and then we include on the left in the footer add the text last edited on followed by today's date automated and time so it must be at the left so last edited on and then today's date and then a space time automated so then just click on ok and then we'll just click on ok so all this editing is done here with the web page you can see the information is available here we'll just go to the normal view and then we'll proceed with step number 11 merge cell a1 to g1 so a1 till g1 select them merge the centers and next step is format this merge cell so that text is center line with a white 24 point sans serif font so with the white 24 sans serif font so I always choose in this case Arial yeah and then it must be uh, filled this cell with the dark green background so we'll fill this one with the dark green background so I choose from here dark green then next step they mention here that use cell A5 to B14 to create a named range called J7 and then take a screenshot evidence of creation of this name range and place it into your evidence document. So from A5 to B14, A5 to B14 we are going to name it so we'll click on the formula and then click on define name and we are going to name it jc click on ok 
yeah so right click and again define name it is JC so print screen yeah okay it is already there so done it's okay we are already done with it so we just uh, click here and we'll paste the picture here of uh, our name range just like that and then crop it as well so that it will look like this that is done next step is in cell d18 enter a formula or function to look up the job description for this employee G, uh, d18 so by looking at the code we need to get job description so this table will help us equal v look up then bracket start we'll start with this code look up value then comma this is our table array and then we'll use a comma column index is 2 because you can see the data is in the second column to the code and then comma false close and press enter button so you will get here the code the job description so if you look at the uh, here they said here yeah the formula in d18 to look up the name employee description so we got the description here so we just have a click here to check that we have any other issue with it come or false and enter yeah we we'll just check here if we name this cell properly yes it is named JC yeah so now in the next step what we need to do is in cell G18 enter formula to calculate the pay for this employee this we look up the rate of pay from the pay rate table and multiply it by the number of hours worked so this formula must include an absolute range two relative references and must not include a name range so what we are going to do uh, we need to uh, get the job description here what we have made the problem we should choose this one here and not C A18 then we will get the result because we are looking at this code and then we are getting the type job description now rate pay so equal to V look up then bracket start here this is our value by looking at this code then comma this is our table and then we choose here the absolute reference then comma the second column then false close and press enter so we got the rate of pay but here they have mentioned here that this pay rate table and multiply it by the number of hours worked so work hours just double click here and just say here this one and then multiply sign so we get the uh, result here by f18 we multiplied this one and then next step is that we will move forward towards step number 15 replicate the function for step 13 and 14 for all implies so what we need to do just click here then double click click here and double click on this square so this data is replicated for all now they make this one bigger so all the contents can be clearly visible and then in cell f60 enter a function to calculate the average number of hours work by employee display this to the nearest whole number so we need to use a round function here for which field hours worked so our work is in f so we need to 
see here equal to average then bracket start and from F18 till F58 and then just click close and then press an enter button here so that's what we got and then this one must be uh, with nearest whole number so we need to round it off to the nearest whole number so when they say to nearest whole number you can use the function uh, called round up so it will just round up to the nearest 10 yeah so we just see here round uh, down that is the function and then just say 0 so it is 22 now it is rounded to the nearest and uh, next step is or we can use the integer also next step is step number 17 in cell g6 to enter function to calculate the total weekly wage in which cell in g61 so equal to and then we'll mention here sum bracket start from g18 till g58 yes that's all close the bracket and press enter button so we got this details here and next step is apply appropriate formatting to your spreadsheet so we need to apply appropriate formatting means we need to format it to the dollars because they mention here it must be formatted to the dollars so we just click here here and then we go up and we'll choose this one till the end and we'll click on uh, home and then format format cell and the currency dollar with two decimal places and that's all uh, when it is done you need to go up and here is a rate of pay as well right click and format cell mm, currency with two decimal places this is how it will look like then next step is that to save and print the spreadsheet showing the formula make sure it is in the landscape orientation fit on a single page wide the row and column headings are displayed and all the contents are fully visible so we need to click on page layout first to change the orientation to landscape and then formula and then click on show formula here and wherever the possibility is we are going to decrease the cell size so our information is clearly visible on each page yeah so we'll click here on page break here and then click here to have a full view so single page wide they said length doesn't matter if it is more two pages even so we will print this one with the formula just like that we'll click on file and print and then we'll click on page setup sheet and then we'll click here to show the row and column heading as well so this is how it will look like so still i think so we need to fix here yeah? and then we'll get back to the normal and again we need to move this one here and then format 
rent so this is how it will look like this will be number one and then there will be another uh, page as well so we'll click on go back or we select this all yeah from this point I include the row and column uh, lines as well now get back to the normal and we'll show the values this time yes just like that and then we'll click on next step is to print this time with the values with the portrait orientation so layout orientation portrait this time and then you just print again with no row and column heading so this time when you're printing you click on file print page setup then sheet and do not display the row and column heading so this is how it will look like this time to print get back to normal to go to the page break preview to increase if it can fit to a single page or you can just fit it to two pages but more data on one of these pages just like that so still we have enough space if you want to add you can just add them so we'll bring this down to the end here and we'll click here so that the contents are fully visible now you just print it with all the formula that's all now the next question is that you need to hide row 3 to 15 inclusive row 3 to 15 get normal 3 to 15 so just click here till here now right click and hide so here we have hide option and then row 60 and 61 60 and 61 right click hide them and next step is to extract only the employees with the job description include developer and who work more or less than contracted hours so in this case you need to uh, first of all the job description include the developer so you just click here and then click on no home get a filter first then job description custom filter yeah we come here and then we choose from here the filter or we just choose the one which has developer like that one by one developer yes we can choose one by one otherwise you can use the text filter here click here on choose the word contain uh, developer developer click on ok so this is what we got only and now we need to hide uh, those uh, the data where the people work more or less than contracted hour so it is equal we need to get only them so we don't need this one click on this one this one this one this one we are going to get only those who work more or less just one by one like that
yeah now you just right click and hide them as well so this is what you got the filtered uh, result here yeah these are the people that you are looking for and then after you need to sort that data into ascending order of name so name then ascending order just like that and then you just uh, uh, print this one as well on a single page so you need to print this extract as well so we'll click on a file and then we'll click on print you just need to print this data and then save and print your evidence document and that's all from the spreadsheet part of this question paper so hope you have learned how to deal and how to solve the spreadsheet and how to use the functions so thanks for watching and don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel and we'll see you in next video